So here we are, folks, with match number 47. It is Japan up against Poland. So Japan will start the match like this. Kawasama in goal, Makino, Saki, Nagatomo, Yoshinda, Konodo, Kayote, Kagawa, Honda, Osaki, Osako up front. As for Poland, Szczesny in goal, Gilich, Czerwicic, Rybas, Pisicic, Maszynski, Prosecco, Paszawasek, Kuczynski, Lewandowski and Tadewicic up front. So here we are, match number 47. Japan in their traditional blue and white. Poland in their also traditional white and red. Now this match in the real world will take place June 28th at the Volongrad Arena in Volongrad. And will also take place the same time as the Senegal versus Colombia game in Group H, which is a evenly poised group. The only team eliminated uh, already is Senegal. The rest of the three teams battling out for not only qualification but group supremacy. Current top of the pops is Poland with the plus two goal difference. Japan are in third place with three points. Poland have four, just to clarify that. So, a draw in this match will see Poland through. And Japan will have to wait and see what happens between Senegal and Colombia. So a win on the flip side for Japan would we'll see them leapfrog to the top of the group, but only temporarily, perhaps, until the Senegal-Colombia match. So a win would put Japan on six points, Poland would be on four points, and then, in fact, yeah, they, so a defeat for Poland will not eliminate them completely. It would it would all depend on the the final the final match of this uh, the group stage, which is Senegal against Colombia. Now, if you're unfamiliar uh, with the setup here at Blackburn Rover Seas, I've been simulating each and every one of these World Cup matches, group matches anyway. Uh, in this FIFA 95 retro game, that's a cracking effort. Obviously, we've we've cracked this version of the game and brought it up to the present day by updating the teams and the rosters of the uh, participating countries. Obviously, such teams such as Panama and Iceland were never in the original game, but they are now, thanks to some help from my old buddy in Chicago, uh, who helped with this project of mine back in the summer of 2017. We've been working long and hard on this to try and. Uh, make this possible because I love this game it's one of my favorite all-time games uh, FIFA 95 which I played on my Mega Drive or Genesis for you uh, non-European based viewers so just to also bring you up to speed if this is your first time that, that you've seen one of these we play two four minute halves uh, and also for my point of view if you enjoy this kind of stuff and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button it does help uh, boost the channel and also this video in particular to be found on the searches for other people to find it in the old YouTube algorithm and also if you like the content that I've done here and also like to be informed with my next retro update and that is a massive foul by by Japan on a Polish player and it's gonna be a free kick it's quickly taken right into a body of players and it's going to come out for a, uh, actually a good save by the Japanese goalkeeper. But if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all my content, whether it be a gameplay video or even a preview or review video, which I'm going to be planning on doing for each and every one of the World Cup games as and when they happen. It's going to be an amazing World Cup. And I actually like the, the prospects of Poland. They are one of my dark horses for this, uh, for this tournament. I think they've got a good chance in this group. This group is wide open and I think any one of the four teams can qualify. But with our simulation, it's looking like Poland and Colombia at the moment. But Japan have a cracking effort there to try and take the lead. But they don't. It goes right beside the goal. Keeper missed it. Went to the last few seconds of this first half. And I'd say Japan have shaded it today thus far. A draw would be enough for Poland anyway. It could also be enough for Japan 
depending on how the match finishes out. Nil nil. So the second half is about to get underway. Japan will kick us off. Poland with the uh, with the throw in. Now over the years, these two sides have played each other six times, and uh, Poland have won four of them. Japan have picked up two victories. The last time that these two sides met was back in 2002. And uh, what's going on here? It's back in 2002, and Japan were the victorious. In fact, Japan have yet to haven't lost against Poland uh, since until. What am I trying to say here? The last time that Poland were victorious over Japan was back in 1981 when they went 3-0 in a friendly. Um, and the first time that these two sides met was the same year. They, in fact, played each other's... Play. According to my statistics, I'm not sure how true this is. So it looks pretty bonkers. Um, but they played each other four times? Nah, that can't be right. It can't be right. Forget about it. Forget about it. Anyway, Japan... Are starting to build here on the left hand side. So let's recap the scores thus far in Group H. Colombia opened up their account with a 1 0 win over Japan. Poland opened up theirs with a 2 0 win over Senegal. But Japan have their noses in front now, folks. That really does put a bit of spice in this group as Japan now top the group and push Poland into second place. Only, only just. In fact, we'll, we'll, we'll look about the connotations in just one second about that. Uh, that this current uh, result. So, if the results were to finish like this, Japan would top the group with six points. Poland will be in second. Now, would they be in second? I think they would be in second because of goals scored. Because of goals scored. That's right. So, if it stays like this, Japan would be top of the pops. Poland will be in second, but obviously that could all change because of Colombia in action against Senegal. But Japan would go through, no question, if the result was to finish like this. And it's going to get worse if things keep going because Japan are pressing for a second goal. But like I said, let's recap the scores, score lines once again because I didn't get through them before that goal. Colombia, uh, I mean, in fact, Japan opened up with a 1-0 loss against Colombia. Poland, on the other hand, opened up with a 2-0 win over Senegal. In the second round of fixtures, Japan beat Senegal and Poland were held to a 0-0 draw against Colombia. So, Japan looking for goal number two, which would probably wrap this match up. Good control. Turn and shoot. Go on. Have a go. Have a go. No. Block. Poland now need to get themselves back into this. I don't think they would want to be in this position. Because as it stands, they would they would be in second place. And a win for Senegal would send them through. A draw would knock them out. A draw would knock them out. So they would be rooting for Senegal to upset the odds. We are into the last minute of the match. Poland need to find something. A, a one goal by them, right here, right now, would flip, that would make this place go bananas. Poland, punt it forward. Japan really impressing me here today, and that's put out of play. Four throw in for Japan. They are down the last 30 seconds, and they'll be going through. And the shocks just keep on coming in this World Cup. We've already lost Argentina. We've already lost uh, Brazil. We've already lost Portugal. And right now, Poland. They're not out. But I think they're going to be pissing in the wind. If I'm honest. Yeah, it's, it's not good enough, Poland. It's not good enough. Japan, I think, have got the three points. They're going to add a time here. This should be it. And there it is. Japan won. Poland nil. Now, recap the statistics. Three shots for Poland. Two for Japan. But a more and most important was the one nil goal. And the goal scorer. 
And the goal scorer was Osako on 5 minutes and 22 seconds. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share and of course subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.